Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Karen Pence. Second Lady Karen Pence says she has only one focus while in Washington. To shine the light on art therapy. Art therapy is relatively obscure with an estimated 6,000 practicing therapists nationwide, but it has a wide range of uses from post-traumatic stress to autism. Art therapy is a mental health profession. It is not arts and crafts. Pence kicked off her campaign to bolster the art therapy profession at FSU, one of the country's top universities for art therapy. Here's an opportunity, here's a chance for us to become a household term, to, for people to understand what art therapy means. The goal is to recruit more professionals like Jordan Dooley, one of 30 FSU students pursuing a master's in the field. I think it's great that she's trying to inform people that it is a uh, clinical field that's psychologically based and has research basis and that it, does, it can help people, all people. Despite the relatively non-controversial reason for Karen Pence's visit, a group of protesters and supporters gathered outside the venue. Art therapy is wonderful, but again, it's not okay to ignore the rest of what she's doing, especially the fact that they also believe in conversion therapy. College Republicans came to balance out the protesters' presence. We heard about this um, counter-protest over here, and we just want to make sure that she knew that that was not representative of the entire Florida State community and that she had support here. The second lady also met with art therapists at an eating disorder clinic before leaving the state capitol. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.